Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. You may have watched uh, my video on a review for a uh, portable power pack uh, on Am that I picked up on Amazon, designed to power a pocket PC stick uh, that requires 30 watts of power. Well, that got me thinking, Mac Mini M1 only draws 35 watts, and I have a portable gaming monitor um, that's 4K, and that one has low power requirements as well, all of which can easily fit within the 85 watts that that power pack produces. So let me show you using the Mac Mini M1 in a portable setup, everything operating entirely off the power from that power pack. Okay, let's just jump right into it. Okay, here's the uh, the unit. Here's the model number. Currently only fifty dollars at Home Depot. This is the unit itself. That's, uh, here's where you turn the lamp on, pressing it on once, at low beam, twice, at 490 lumens, press and hold for a few seconds and it'll do a 40 second burst of 1000 lumens. Uh, this is the strap. This is my second time having one. I misplaced the first one and uh but thankfully it came happened right at the time of my birthday and so i got another one uh this is courtesy of my big sister and uh wow this is new it, it didn't, prior ones didn't have this a rubber strap okay usb uh a type A and type C charge cable. Now you charge this, you know, this is the really nice part. You can charge it up right there with the USB-C, not an old technology USB, micro USB, but the actual nice current USB-C. But also, if you were to get a replacement battery, um, make sure you can see that clearly. But you can actually charge the battery directly. Really, how cool is that? And how often do you see that? And then of course, this is the focal point. You can focus the beam. But it, it largely is a targeted beam. It does not like a, a wide, uh, it doesn't have a wide diffusion pattern like some others do. But that's not what I'm looking for mostly, so I'm fine with that. different clips if you're going to place this on a helmet. Okay. And this is what you clip the strap on. So I'm going to, in practice, I'll be using this strap and this one. Okay. That's the unboxing. Okay, for right now, I'm going to remove the clip so I can get the strap onto it. And I'm going to twist the cap off upwards. You don't remove the cap. And that so I can uh, start charging it. And you can see the red LED. That'll go green once it's fully charged. And that may take a... Gosh, if it's a good charge, it should only take like an hour, if that much. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the strap on. That's all there is to that. I'm going to get it in the right way though. Yep, I did. Okay.
okay. And I'll let that charge. And soon enough, it'll be ready to go into use. Okay, you see how it is at the lower light setting and soon in the thousand lumen burst that even on a dark night, how much you can actually see with this headlamp. It's phenomenal. Well, you got to see uh, the Mac Mini M1 in in uh, on full display. I'll even qualify that this video itself was all uh, edited and rendered on that same Mac Mini M1 as all my videos are, or nearly all of them, but running off that power pack. Uh, and it did so phenomenally well. And rendering video is something that does tax the system. So um, you got to see its longevity. Uh, I can't say that I, this is gonna be my go-to thing because there's always issues with space. Uh, you know, setting up a, a Mac Mini M1 and a monitor is, takes a little more space than it would uh, to do so with a laptop. I know there's a little case out there that somebody ingeniously designed to keep it all you know, together like that, but Maybe I'll look into that too. That would certainly reduce the size uh, of the space required, but I'm certainly not ready to take my number one go-to system out of my home office. But nevertheless, it is doable, and I, if ever comes the time for me to do it, I know I absolutely can, for an extended period of time even. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe, and if you subscribe to my channel, I'll counter subscribe to yours. And that way, uh, and I'll watch content on your channel and leave likes. And that way, um, as you're building up my channel, I'm helping to build up yours. And we can all succeed as good neighbors too, right? Bye-bye until next time.